Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have another Erin Condren plan with me for you today, and this will be the week of December 23rd through the 29th, so it is the week of Christmas. So, very exciting week, and I am using this gorgeous kit from Scribble Prints Co. It is called Accio Christmas, and as soon as she released it, I knew I wanted to use it for Christmas week because I think being at Hogwarts during Christmas would be amazing. And my husband and I do our Christmas tree Harry Potter theme, so just so perfect. I did pick up the mini kit because I always have a ton of leftovers when I get the ultimate kit. I subscribe to their ultimate kit, but if I ever pick up a kit, I usually get the mini because that really meets my needs the best. So I've got the full boxes, headers, little things, quarter boxes, labels, half boxes, um, all your functional items, and some small icons. Then we've got a ton of gorgeous deco, some more functional items, squared off boxes, and the weekend banner, and then bottom washi and date covers. I did pick up some of the add-ons as well. This was the Andrea Munchkin freebie that came with it, and then I added on the glitter headers as well as the label sampler. And I'm going to be pulling in gold foil with this week because I just feel like it goes best with Harry Potter and our tree is gold and red so I figured it would work out. So I am going to pull in some Simply Gilded Washi with the bottom washi in the kit. This is a white stardust with um, gold, I think it's actually gold and silver in the stardust, but I thought it'd be really pretty and it would lighten up the bottom washi some. I am going to be pulling in quite a bit of gold foil as well because I just feel like all of my Christmas spreads deserve all of the shine. So, really excited about that. So I am going to get started with the bottom washi. What I'm going to do is white out the top two lines and put down my Simply Gilded and then I'll lay down the bottom washi from the kit and just trim that off. So um, I'm going to do that as well as the date covers and then my date dots this week are from Nikki Plus 3. So I'm going to get all of that down and I'll be back in one minute. Alright, so I've got my bottom washi and my date covers down. I did mangle this bottom washi. It's been so long since I've uh, done like Simply Gilded Washi with the bottom washi and I just cut straight through the page. So I'm sure most people won't notice that other than me, but it is, huh, it's going to be fine. So moving on to the sidebar, I'm going to use, I think I want to use this blue flag. I think this color is really perfect. Okay, so now for my quote box, I want to, there's not an actual like quote box with the kit. So I want to create one. I pulled a Merry Christmas overlay that I'm going to use and it's from Nightingale Paper Co. So I was thinking about doing it over the boxes because that's the one that I don't mind covering the most. But then I also thought about putting it over the wood because then I'm not really covering anything and it'll tie all the wood in. And then I can just save one of these because I'm going to have the checklist left over. So I may use this in a B6 spread, but I could always cut up this and use it as like headers when I use. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause I mean, I wanna use all of these. So sorry for all of that debate. So I'm gonna do this Merry Christmas overlay over the packages and have that be my quote box here. I think that's pretty cute. Perfect. Okay. And like I said, that's from Nightingale Paper Co. So now, moving down my sidebar. Where are, okay, her headers. She has the headers that I need here. And then I usually only do three glitter header colors. So I think... I'll do these three and then I'll do the brown glitter headers in my sidebar. So I'm going to stack two of these here and then do the this week header over them because I don't really have any washi strips. I mean I could use that leftover wood green washi, but it's kind of mangled. So for the this week, I'm going to do my habit trackers. Put both of them here. 
And then I pulled some scripts from my habit for my habit trackers as well. So I'm gonna do my no spend, um, and these are from Kinsey's Creations. My no spend, and then my vitamins. And then I'm gonna do two more of these brown glitter headers. Stack those here, and this will be for my dinners. There we go. I didn't stack those perfectly, but I'm getting pretty covered up, so it's fine. I'm gonna do the light color that actually matches the header. So there's not too many dark colors here in the sidebar. Oh, something is not straight. I don't know if it's the glitter headers or if I just laid down. That's better, <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do one glitter header. I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I'm gonna do one glitter header here and then a box. I think I want to do one of these squared off boxes and let's pull in some more of this light blue. So this is going to be for tracking how many weeks pregnant I am and I pulled my custom script from Bodacious Prints that says weeks pregnant. I'm gonna do that right there. And then I'll write in the 15. And then here I'm gonna use a non-mangled piece of this washi. Yeah, that works out pretty perfectly. Right there to tie in with the bottom washi. Okay, that worked out nicely. So I'm using my slice tool from Amazon. Perfect, I like that. Okay, so now that is my sidebar. Let's move to um, glitter headers. So I am going to alternate these three colors. And then I pulled some festive overlays. Haven't 100% decided if I'm gonna use them. They are like a uh, really brassy gold They're from Bodacious Prints and Nightingale, I mean, and Nicole Alexia Designs. And so far I've really used like light gold. So I don't know. I'm going to alternate these um, across the spread and get down my full boxes. And then I'll decide how I want to, if I want to do any um, header overlays. I am going to use this double box on Tuesday and Wednesday because it is Christmas and Christmas Eve. So that'll be a little bit different for me, but I think it'll be pretty. So I'm going to go through and get all of that down and I'll be back in one minute. All right, so I've got my full boxes and glitter headers down. I did go ahead and put a bottom washi overlay from Nightingale Paper Co. down here. It's just some like twinkle and I thought it was really pretty and it's light gold. So I decided not to use the um, glitter header overlays from Bodacious Prints and Nicole Alexia Design since they are that brassy gold. I want to try and stick with light gold. N mixing them normally doesn't bother me, but I don't want it to overwhelm this. I think this kit is so pretty and I just want to stick with light gold. So I do have some overlays that I'm going to use. This is from Nightingale Paper Co. and it is a light gold and I'm actually going to cut it on the diagonal. Um, both of these and put them around the double box. I think that is really pretty and then you don't have the line going down the middle as well. So I'm going to do that here and here and I think that is perfect. So just some subtle shine there to those boxes. So this one, let's see. Maybe I'll put this one here just to have some on both sides and I'll leave, well, maybe I'll put it around her. Oh no, because that washi at the bottom would be really close. So we'll just put that around her. And then I also pulled these bows from Scribble Prints Co. I think it's pretty and it's not overpowering just some subtle little sparkle. So I did pull these overlays. Um, they're the Christmas countdowns from Wild Summer Designs, but they're kind of in that brassy gold too. So 
I'm going to leave those off. But I do, oh, and I just realized these are that same. I've got some um, holidays from Scribble Prince Co. So that will be light gold. So I'll use those instead. All right, so that is everything for the base. I'm going to put the holidays on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but that can be part of my day-to-day -day planning. But that is everything for the base. I think this is really pretty, and I really like these colors. So I will get started with the first half of the week. All right, so I have the first half of the week. Starting on Monday, I wanted to mark Coffee Monday. So I'm gonna use this little Andrea Munchkin with the coffee cup here. And then I pulled Coffee Monday script from Kinsey's Creations. I think I'm gonna do the, let's do the half filled. I think that is cute. So then I had to do some work. So this week for work, I only worked two days this week. So there are two large labels on this page that I'm gonna use for work. And I am going to do this one here. And then I'm going to use my Letters to Apollo gold foiled work script this week. There we go. So that is for work. And then I did folded some laundry. So I'm gonna take this deco piece, but I'm gonna trim it. So I'm gonna do that little sweater there for folding laundry. And then I had to run some errands. So for errands, I am going to do this girl running errands from my spoiled planner and then my errand script from Kinsey's Creations. I had to do my last minute, uh, a few little things I needed for Christmas stuff, and then I had to pick up some more boxes and, you know, the last minute things. So I'm gonna do my errand script there, perfect, okay. So then, this night I had to wrap all of my gifts. I'm not kidding you when I say all. I had not wrapped one single thing. So I'm gonna do one of these squared off boxes here. And then I pulled the holiday gifts and card sheet from Once More With Love. And let's see, which one do I want to use? Maybe this one. So that is for wrapping all the gifts. It's literally what I looked like. I had gifts all around me and wrapping paper everywhere. Oh, I am not a good wrapper. I do not do it well. I, I don't know how people do it well. <laughs> it is just not me. So as I was watching, uh, or as I was wrapping gifts, I was watching Gilmore Girls. So. I just realized that there's no TV little things, so we're just gonna use asterisk little things. There we go. So that is for watching Gilmore Girls as I wrapped gifts. And then once my husband got home, we exchanged our gifts um, with each other. Let me straighten that up just a tad. So for exchanging gifts with my husband, I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. And I'm gonna do this little Winston in the gift box here. And there we go, I'm just gonna do him like that. I think that's really cute. So that's for exchanging gifts with my husband. So that was it for Monday. Moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday was Christmas Eve, which I already have marked here. And then this morning I had some coffee and watched um, some YouTube. So I pulled this sheet from uh, once more with love. It's technically the pumpkin pi pumpkin spice sheet, but I just thought the little munchkin with the red coffee cup would work. So that is going to be for coffee and YouTube in the morning. And then, oops, we did some cleaning. We um, cleaned up from all the wrapping. My husband did his wrapping the night before and then from all of our gift exchange. And then we did the gifts with all of our dogs, which had a lot of trash. So we cleaned up the house. I'm going to do a flag from the kit for cleaning up. And then I pulled these um, foiled uh, 
scripts from Scribble Prints Co. These are the J. Crew Plans hand lettered ones, and I'm going to do the tidy up script right there. Perfect. And then we took our pups on a walk, so I'm going to do the paw print from the kit for our walk. Right there. It was actually really warm this day, so not a typical Christmas. Um, so then we went bowling that we like to do some sort of activity with my in-laws and my brother and sister-in-law every year. So let's do a label for that. And then for bowling, I actually do have bowling stickers, but they were like really bright. So instead I'm going to use these little, um, paper and milk Maru's just like the little happy guy. So that is going to be for bowling with my husband's family and then this night we went ate at a um, Japanese restaurant. My husband's family is Japanese so that was really fun. So I think for that I'm going to do a half box here and then I pulled these foiled utensil icons from Scribble Prints Co. So that will be um, the Japanese restaurant we had dinner at. And then we exchanged gifts with his family. So for that, I pulled these um, Winston's from Nightingale Paper Co. They're just wearing Christmas sweaters, which I just thought was adorable. So I'm going to do this Winston in the green sweater for exchanging gifts with my husband's family. I think that is pretty cute. So that is it for Tuesday. So moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday was Christmas Day, which I have my foiled holiday there already. And so here I am going to do a half box extender. And let's see. Let's do this blue one. I actually watched Andrea's video on how to do these. I mean, you know, they're pretty self-explanatory in theory, but I figured there just had to be an easier way. I think I got it. Okay, so for the outside of this half box, I am going to do um, coffee and get ready, and I pulled these adorable personalized coffee cups from the Crafty Banana. Use one of these green ones here. So that is for coffee and getting ready. And then inside the extender, I wanted it here at the top. So this kind of starts my day at the top of the extender and I could fit everything in because we had quite the long day. First, we drove to Augusta, which is my hometown, to spend the day with my family. But I think before, I'm gonna switch how I wrote these down. First, I'm gonna mark that I was 15 weeks this day. So I pulled um, this sheet of pregnant munchkins. So I'm gonna put the munchkin right there to mark being 15 weeks. I do have it in the sidebar, but I just think it's fun to mark the day. <laughs> Um, so then I'm going to do, let's see, will a label fit? Might peel up this munchkin just a tab. Also, any excuse to use those pregnant munchkins, they are so stinking cute. So I'm going to do a label right here. This is for driving to Augusta. And then I'm going to use the car icon from the kit here. All right. And then we got to my dad's house and had lunch with my family. So I pulled this sheet from Nightingale Paper Co. So for lunch with, or at my dad's, so it was with um, my stepsisters and their kids and um, my sister and all of our significant others. So I have lunch at my dad's. I used that little Winston in the plaid. That's actually what my dad was wearing. So it was like perfect. And then we exchanged gifts with all of them. So I'm gonna do this deco from the kit these boxes here. So that is going to be for our gift exchange at my dad's house. And then um, we went to my mom's house and <laughs> did a gift exchange. So I'm going to use the present icon from the kit for that. And then because you know who wouldn't want the holidays to be stressful, my in-laws were letting out the dogs while we were out of town and one of my dogs ran away. So on Christmas day, I get to use a I'm so mad munchkin. Um, I'm gonna use this one that says WTF because we thought we were gonna have to drive back. 
and help them get our dog. They eventually caught her, but it took like almost an hour and it was just so, so much. I felt so bad for them. They are so sweet and she was just so bad. So that was for our little bit of dog drama. Then we went to my cousin's house to have dinner with my dad's entire family. So I'm gonna do a half box for that. And then um, I pulled these really cute like place settings from My Spoiled Planner. I'll do that right there for dinner at my cousin's. And then we did Secret Santa with um, my dad's family. So I'm gonna do this Andrea Munchkin like with the bags. We're just gonna pretend like they're presents. So that is going to be for Secret Santa. I think that is super cute. Then I did a day off script from Kinsey's Creations. So I'm gonna do that right there. I love taking off the day after Christmas to relax because Christmas is so crazy. So um, this morning I just had some coffee and did some planning. So I'm gonna do one of these um, like winter Winston coffee mugs for coffee and planning. And then I did some cleaning. So I pulled this sheet from Once More With Love. It's the, her mini sheet of chores. So I'm gonna do this munchkin right there for doing some cleaning. Then I picked up Raisin Cane's for lunch, which is so uh, random. My husband and I barely ever get Raisin Cane's and I don't know what I just texted him, I was like, do you want Raisin Cane's? He was like, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> that was nice. So I'm gonna do a little thing for that and an icon. Picking up Raisin Cane's for lunch. Um, I wouldn't say it's a pregnancy craving, but maybe um, my pregnancy gave me the idea. <laughs> so that afternoon I did some filming. So I pulled these foiled cameras from Magic Prints Co. for filming. And then I uploaded this day. So I'm gonna do the bow clip from the kit for uploading. All right, so after I uploaded my video, I decided to have some me time and did had a bath and did some reading. So I'm gonna do another one of these squared off boxes here. And then I pulled these um, bubble bath doodles from Bodacious Prints. I'm gonna do that right there. So that is for having a bath and doing some reading. And then this night my husband and I watched some Survivor. So I'm gonna do a little thing right there at the bottom for that. So moving on to Friday. First thing Friday morning. It's my second day of work for the week. So I'm gonna do this second large label from the kit here. And then I'm going to do my work script from Letters to Apollo. And then we decided to schedule some training for our pup that had run away. She is three and she's just a little high strung. So I'm gonna put this little paw print here from Piper Paper Company to mark scheduling her some training. And then I did some cleaning. So for that, I think I'm gonna do this package icon for some cleaning, mainly bringing out recycling and that sort of thing. So that is for cleaning. I feel like I cleaned every day this week. Um, so I folded laundry and watched some YouTube. So I pulled these laundry windskins from Nightingale Paper Co. So that is for folding laundry and watching some YouTube. Then I did some reading this night. So I'm gonna do one of these small labels for doing some reading this evening. I've really been into my book, but I don't know if it's just pregnancy or because I always read in my bed. Reading just automatically leads to a nap. So that was the next thing I did was took a nap. Oh, I forgot I pulled my reading script from Kinsey's Creation. So I'm gonna do that right there. And then I pulled these Baymax characters from Pretty on Paper Co. or Popco stickers. Her shop is now closed, so either way, I'm gonna do this napping Baymax here for taking a nap after I did some reading. And then I did some cooking. So I'm gonna do utensil icons from the kit for cooking dinner. 
And then this night, my husband and I watched some Survivor. So I'm gonna do another little thing with the asterisk here at the bottom. Uh, this way. So this will be for watching Survivor this night. There we go. So moving on to Saturday. First thing Saturday morning, I did sleep in, which is so very nice. So I'm gonna do one of these pattern labels from the kit. And then I pulled these foiled pillows from Artbox stickers, which are so stinking cute. So I'm gonna do one of these for sleeping in this day. That is really cute. And then I did some editing, so I'm going to do I need the film clapper. I'm not going to use it for anything else. So that's going to be for doing some editing. And then my husband and I took our pups on a walk. So I'm going to do another paw print from Piper Paper Company for that. And then we went and had some chilies for lunch. We were just on a roll with eating out this week. So I'm going to do this heart little thing here. That's for getting chilies with my husband. And then we had an epic game night this night. It was so, so fun. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this last square box. And then I pulled a game night script from Sweet Fox Papery. I'm actually gonna put this kind of below the box. One, to take up some more room because we played for hours and two because I want to actually write in here what we played. So I pulled this sheet from Once More With Love. I'm going to do these munchkins with the board game here. I think we played three or four games so I'm going to list those out right there. It was so fun. And then this night we just watched some football. It was the um, college playoffs. So I'm going to do this um, football Winston here for watching football. So that was it for Saturday. Moving on to Sunday. Sunday morning, first thing I did was uploaded my video. So I pulled these upload munchkins from Once More With Love. That is for uploading. And then I normally have to work this day, but um, my husband called. He was like, by the way, you're not on the schedule anymore. Um, I knew I wasn't going to be moving into the new year, but they went ahead and took me off for the last Sunday of the year, so I had a surprise day off, which was really nice. So, um, I ended up just having a relaxing morning, having some coffee, and watching YouTube. So, I'm going to do one of these custom coffee cups from the Crafty Banana on this little label here. And that is for coffee and YouTube. And then I took my pups on a walk, so I'm going to do another paw print from Piper Paper Company. These are just so stinking cute. And then I went and got my nails done, so I'm going to do a label for that. And then I pulled these nail appointment um, script and icons. This is a collab between Lilac and Paper and Kinsey's Creations. I'm gonna do that right in that label. And then I went to grocery shopping, so I'm gonna do the uh, grocery cart there for going to Publix. And then I picked us up some tacos from a local uh, taco place called Juaritos. So I pulled these foil uh, taco icons from Magic Prints Co. They are so stinking cute. Then this night I did some reading. So I pulled these uh, book doodles from Bodacious Prints. I'm going to do that right there for doing some reading. And then I had to do some more filming. I didn't have to do. I chose to do some more filming this night. So I'm going to use another one of the foiled camera icons from uh, Magic Prints Co. And let's see, I think I want to do that maybe on a label. Oh, I haven't used a quarter box. Let's use a quarter box. Let's do light blue. There we go. And the camera for doing some filming and then oof. 
it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna do, I only have one asterisk left and it's the same color. So I can either do an asterisk that's the same color or I can do a heart that's a different color. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's just do a heart. Because this is for watching Survivor. So it's not a TV, so it doesn't really matter what I use. <laughs> All right, so that is everything for the second half of the week. I'm going to go through and fill all of this out, and I'll be back in one minute to show you the completed spread. All right, here is my completed spread. I absolutely love how it turned out, and I've got my little extender here for Christmas Day. I think it is so fun and festive. Let me give you a bit of wiggle. I don't have, well, I mean, I guess it's a good amount of foil gold foil happening. I don't feel like I went over the top, but I think it's really pretty. Scribble Prints Co. kits are just so great. I absolutely love using them, and I, even with the mini kit, I have enough left over to use it again in my B6 rings next year. So, really excited. Love this spread for Christmas week. And I'd love to hear what you think. Please comment below and let me know if you're a fan of Harry Potter or um, why you were not. If you're not, um, it is one of my favorites, but I love hearing people's opinions. So this is my spread for Christmas week. If you'd like to see close-ups of this spread, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Georgia Girl Plans. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload videos every single week. It was a fun spread. So I appreciate you watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.